Oh. Oh. That's it. Now. Give me a pen here. Give me a pen. This is what we said in tongues. This is... Sons and daughters of God, I beckon on you to watch this video to the end because there is so much prophetic insight revealed in this video. This is what we said in tongues. This is me, this is him. It was written here. The gifts of God are without repentance. Gifts of God are without repentance. What he gives you, he doesn't take. Prophet Ubed Angel, the founder and general overseer of Spirit Embassy and Good News Nation. During one of Spirit Embassy's live service, he came into a powerful prophetic tongues encounter with one of the elders. Just as Prophet Tibi Joshua said that the Holy Spirit will speak through us in a language which we have not learned. Okay, I want to write it. Holy Spirit will speak through through us in language which we have not learned. Okay, what language? Which language we have not learned? And that is the definition of tongues. Holy Spirit speaking through you in a language that you have not learned. And if you have learned the language, then it's not tongues. Man of God made it clear that this language is directly from God. Thus, only God can be a teacher of this. So this one, I cannot teach you. It's God himself that will teach you. It's not something I will say, okay, say it following. No, no, no. Like English, you have to give spelling. A. B, C, G. This one has no alphabet. God will teach you himself and will teach you everything I cannot teach you. He will inspire you. That is not like the secular ABC that you can learn it from a classroom. This one is different. Only God can teach you this. Prophet Ubed Angel, after these prophetic tongues encounter, he asks for a sheet of paper, one for him and one for the elderly man which he called Papa. One assignment to write what they were saying in tongues. Now, give me a pen here. Give me a pen. This is what we said in tongues. This is me, this is him. It was written here. The gifts of God are without repentance. Gifts of God are without repentance. What he gives you, he doesn't take. Both were in full understanding of what they were saying, but those around them were unable to comprehend. This is likely because those around them at that prophetic tongues encounter moment were in another realm. Why they were in another realm. For 
your understanding works in correspondent with your realm. Your realm dictates your understanding. There were in different locations to transcribe what they heard from the prophetic tongues encounter. It was very shocking to the congregation when both sheets of papers were revealed. Both sheets had matching phrase of the prophetic tongues encounter. How amazing! Although on the path of senior prophet to be Joshua, he took it away further. He did not just translate in a language known to many, but he wrote in a language known to none. Sometimes when you speak in a tongue, I just look at it. Sometimes when I hear these people speak in a tongue, I listen. And I, 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 I nod my head. But how can a person speak a language he cannot write, he doesn't know, and he doesn't even understand, cannot even translate? A language that has no power. It's meaningless. I can write a letter with it. I can I can write a book with it, but nobody told me. <laughs> <laughs> nobody told me. Okay, I want to write it. Holy Spirit will speak through. have not learned. Okay, what language? Which language we have not learned? Okay, Holy Spirit. <coughs> Word speak. Language. After his passing on to glory, none has been confirmed to be able to read what he wrote. He called it the heavenly language. At the time he was making this illustration, the man of God, Prophet Kobos from South Africa of blessed memory, visited Scorn with his team. The man of God, Prophet to be Joshua, didn't just say those words, but he matches every word with action. For a proper illustration, he told the visitor that the words that he has wrote is not of man, but of God, and thus it has so much power. For example, he called on Prophet Kubos to have a grip on the word. But to the visitor's surprise, as he touched those words, he stared at them and couldn't move. He was stuck for a while, and to the ground he goes, lost in the realm. Do you believe that you can greater than me? You can be like me. 
Jubilee. I thought that language you will stand up. I will call the language now. Sarisa Arisisa Arisisa. Now, if you now press it in hand, anything can happen. But they maintain her now. What can you say about what what happened to you? The man of God said, when he read those words, he will regain his consciousness. And it happened. Those being given a mic for explanation, he burst into tongues and was explaining in tongues. The language has been coded to him. Meaning he has received the gift of tongues. He can now read, write, and speak in tongues through the Holy Spirit, just as the man of God said, that only God can teach you this, not me. He assures the visitors that they can be like him. The only thing is to get more serious and committed with their mission in Christ. Not getting committed with me, but with Christ. I've told you so. It's, it, why you do it? it's so easy, you can just do it. What? It's with it. What is that? It's you with why you just speak it. It's in you, so just release it. Love yeah. the life. What? It's really sweet. Look at that. Thank you. It's where yeah. I can do it. So we just thank you, Jesus, yeah. for your glory and your power. Well, that's it. Okay, right, so you are free. What happened in Pentecost? I don't know him. I don't know him. I'm seeing him. I have never met him before. But we are speaking language that I have never met him before. But I'm speaking a language you don't know. And he's replying me. Are you not surprised? Yeah. From South Africa to Nigeria. This is to confirm what is happening here. This is exactly what happened at Pentecost. He said, after he said, something came out of him. Unrighteousness came out of him. Unrighteousness came in. Are you understand? Unrighteousness in him that deprived him of the blessing went out, departed, while righteousness entered. So immediately righteousness entered, he started sp spoken in tongues. The language, heavenly language. He can write it if I give him a job. You write it. The one you speak, can you write it? If there's anybody that can write the language you speak, or come and write it. If you have any language, heavenly language, write it in the world. I'm here to, to, to challenge you. you. You speak, 
you are always speaking in tongues, but you cannot write it. You don't even know what you are saying. But you learn it from Papa, Papa, Harbika, Papa, Hara, Papa. What is the meaning? But I'm here writing the language, every language down. I'm writing it. He emphasized. The visitors were marveled, sharing uncontrollable tears. It is not surprising that Prophet Ubed Angel can also write in tongues. He has been with Senior Prophet Tibi Joshua for a spiritual visit for seven days. Seven days. During one of his ministration, he took a time to explain how he met Prophet Tibi Joshua. Sit down. Do you even know how I got close to Tibi Joshua? Very simple. I looked for all controversial prophets. God said, look for fake ones. Just type fake prophets. I typed fake prophet. I typed controversial and fake prophet. And TB Joshua was number one. As I was looking at him like this, I took a few days just watching. She can tell you, CDs, DVDs after DVDs. I got a call from TB Joshua. I want you to come to, to, to Nigeria. I was not on TV. I, was, I just started a church. Not on TV, nothing. I went there, stayed with him for seven days. That miracle TV you saw, he was part of the people that sponsored it. Listen to me. How did this happen? I looked for fake prophets. Prophet Ubed Angel said he was out there searching, solving and looking for fake and controversial prophets and there prophet tb joshua pops up the first and a short while after then he had a call from the man of god it was shocking to him at that time because he has never been on tv thus god works in mysterious ways right now you can ask prophetess when she comes here we will not book right now where i wrote ambassador the day i met past uh, i met i met tb joshua i wrote ambassador that i will be an ambassador that's years years back i'm talking about 2006 What happened? What really happened? 2020, it happens. How many years? 14 years. I spoke it, I saw it, and it came to pass. How? How is it that a man who is the president would call you and say you are now this? Do you understand what it takes? It takes God to speak to him. To say there is a man who are God. You, you don't understand this you don't understand this so some of the things we do you might not get it so some of the things we... <laughs> it takes the spirit of god to speak to a man i said no look there is somebody i want you to do this check him boom, 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 boom. what is taking place nobody knows 2006 it was already written that's why Jesus said, in the volume of the book, it is written of me. I have come to do your will, O oh God. There was a volume of a book. You people, there is a volume. There is a volume of a book. He head on for the spiritual visit with all aspects on Prophet B. Joshua. And he always testified of the spiritual impactation he obtained from that spiritual visit take this john chapter 14 verse 12 to 14 verily truly i tell you whosoever believes in me will do the works i have been doing and they will do even greater things than these 
because I am going to the Father, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.